right, I'm always impressed how fast NIST responds when we have uh, AES broken earlier in the rump session. Now, apparently, we're going to hear about the next uh, replacement of AES competition. Rene Peralta. Uh, okay, hello. Um, so, we're announcing these two uh, special publications. Uh, the uh, reason for announcing them is that we, we take uh, your comments uh, very seriously, so please give us feedback. And uh, the links are there. Um, we're also having a couple of workshops, I mean a workshop and a conference. Here's the workshop on cryptography for emerging technologies and applications. That's a hyperlink, so if you click there, you'll find it. I think you can click on these things afterwards. Um, we're also having the third SHA-3 candidate conference. Um, that's, it's going to be in March and uh, co-located with uh, FSE. Okay. We're also announcing that we're going to uh, implement a public randomness source. Um, the, um, this is, we're just going to publish random numbers every minute or so. Uh, we, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I, I've been asking for this for a long time, but it took Ron's uh, reverse uh, request that, uh, to make it happen. Uh, so there's some chance that this will use, be used in voting, and there's all these talks in voting before. So we're very careful with our threat model. And if, and, uh, if you, you know, some of you know me, uh, this is kind of my threat model. And uh, it's, uh, don't worry, democracy is safe, because John Kelsey is in the uh, team. <laughs> Um, so, we will survive. Uh, there's other models. Um, and uh, uh, Quinn's uh, model uh, got nixed. Uh, um, there's something about government regulations I didn't quite get, but they won't allow us with this one. Um, we, okay, so this thing will uh, broadcast full entropy strings. We'll do it about uh, half a kilobyte bit per minute. We'll sign and, and timestamp. We'll link the sequence of blocks with a secure hash. This is, Kels, you know, this is so that we, we ourselves can't change it in the, uh, uh, retroactively. And uh, for source of entropy, right now we just bought a thing off the, uh, 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 on the internet. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for the real thing, we're talking to NIST physicists. Uh, we may actually give you this, we may actually implement this really fancy uh, entropy source, quantum stuff and everything. There's the, uh, the prototype architecture. You got firewalls, databases, and all that thing. Uh, there's the team, Larry Basham, Michaela Yorga, Mike Fisher at Yale. Uh, this is because he and I had this, run, you know, Tried to get this funded and couldn't, but now NIST is allowing us to do it, so good. John and myself, time frame this year, we plan to complete a prototype. The contact and the team leader is Michaela Yorga, and there's her email, so send her mail. Uh, there's many applications. I don't, you know, I, the voting application wasn't my idea. Uh, my favorite one is, is, is something that we did a while ago with. Uh, uh, John Boyer and Ivan Damgard, I think it's um, if you have an additively homomorphic bit commitment scheme, you can uh, then use this thing to produce uh, sort of these entangled uh, bit commitments where where the four this, the four tuple must belong to this set which we called U, and the the point of this set uh, is that uh, there's a linear transformation from this set to correct input output bits for any binary linear gate. Uh, so you can use this until uh, practical, fully homomorphic encryption is available. It fits kind of nicely in this end-stick vision that the government is pushing. Oh, thank you.